I'm a little different, a little fresh face. I just got out of the shower, um, like kind of <laughs> washed my hair and stuff. And I saw that Cedric had asked a question about 24 hour shifts and how that works. And so since that is mainly what I do on my trauma shifts, uh, I figured that what better way to give you a little check in and at the same time answer this question. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So again, like I stated before, I am a year and a half into being a trauma PA and this year has been filled with ups and downs, obviously. Um, there is a learning curve that you have to have um, as a new grad PA just in general, uh, on top of that being done during COVID times. So for me, um, I ultimately am loving what I'm doing. I get to see a lot, I get to learn a lot, I get to do a lot, but at the same time, you still are constantly learning. And if you thought that once you get out of PA school, you're not gonna be learning or studying, you're definitely wrong, especially depending on the specialty that you're in. However, Cedric Mayfield asked the question, Hi Adana, I just started PA school and you've inspired me so much. My only question is, how do you find jobs with the 24 hour shifts? I never see them as an option on Indeed. I like to look at future jobs for motivation. I know you have mentioned it in other videos, but can you do a video one day on how those shifts work? Thank you. All right, so that's what I'm gonna be talking about. Essentially, like how that shift works, okay? So, for me, let, let me just take a really sip, quick sip of water because I'm so thirsty, you guys. But for me, how my 24-hour shift works is I start off my day pretty early, like around 6 o'clock. I get to work for like 6.30, 6.40-ish, um, just so that I can change, get settled, and kind of pre-round, I guess you can say, on the patients. I like to see the patients that I'm going to be taking care of throughout the day. And then ensure that, you know, like, they're la I know their labs, I know, um, you know, their numbers. So um, H and H and, you know, if they've been febrile or not, all of that good stuff. So I'll look at that and then we do a sign out just between uh, the PAs and then we will go and do a sign out between our attendings and the residents and the med students and everybody that is on the trauma team for that day. So that's usually at 7.30 um, and after that we will go and get breakfast if we want, um, you know, just kind of start on some light work that we might be able to do like ordering labs or imaging if that's what is needed throughout the day from the sign-up that we've gotten with the whole team. And then we'll usually round or start rounding maybe around 8.30, uh, but we have to be on particular floors for cyber rounds um, at 9.00 or 930 uh, and cyber rounds is like an interdisciplinary rounding so we have like the case managers with us the nurse the nurse manager and then us as the team and so we'll go and we'll round on our patients and after that then we're writing notes and typically rounding can last anywhere from like two hours to four hours depending on how many patients you have and exactly like you know how long it takes in each patient's room because sometimes other patients have more questions than you know some others and then some don't have any questions at all um, so it, it depends but you'll round and then you'll go and you will actually then start writing notes and notes can take up the majority of your day especially when you're on a trauma shift because for me although I may be floor or ED depending on what it is um, if a trauma comes in and my ED PA colleague is like swamped with traumas and may have gotten like two or three traumas themselves, then one of us has to go and assist and help out um, and take the next incoming trauma. And so it's very much like collaborative. It's, you know, it's meant to be a very team focused environment so that we're assisting and helping each other and just kind of making the workload light. Like it says, like many hands make the workload light. And so that is the epitome of what our our team is supposed to be about. So with that being said, we'll do those, we'll round, and then we'll have another like afternoon rounds around four o'clock. 
well, afternoon sign out around four o'clock where we talk about what was done throughout the day, if there's anything that is needed for tomorrow, um, you know, to help either assist the patients in getting out of the hospital or if they have to go back to the OR or whatever the case may be. Um, and then you're kind of free, um, free in that now you can go finish any notes that you may not have done and then you're waiting for traumas. So sometimes you have good days where you don't get any traumas and it's just consults from the emergency department because we are acute care surgery um, so we're not only doing trauma surgery but we're doing general surgery as well um, and sometimes you don't get any calls really at all and it's like a good night in that sense but you still have to manage your floor patients so it's cool and I like it but how do you find these jobs I mean honestly you will have to look for them in terms of the hospital setting so like you ask around in your area or in the areas that you're looking. If you're really interested in getting a 24 hour shift job, I mean, yes, not all of them are, it's it's not something that's like widely done, I guess you could say, mostly it's like 12 hour shifts. However, there are places that do 24 hour shifts. I mean, my hospital is not the only one. And so you just have to look for those jobs via the hospital site. If you're not seeing them on Indeed, go to the various different hospitals in your area look at those sites and see what they're offering. See if they're offering 24 hour shift work or 12 hour shift work or whatever the case may be. And then you just apply. Um, that's usually how um, it would go if you're not seeing it on Indeed. But for me, that's typically my day. Uh, obviously anything after five o'clock, it's literally just as traumas come in, we will triage those traumas. We will get them into the CT scanner, get x-ray. Um, if we need them to be intubated, intubated will get anesthesia involved if they have to go to the OR that will happen it's very much collaborative with in all of the different specialties and um, disciplines for ultimate patient care and you know I'm loving it guys I really like it I, I like it a lot more than I thought I would like it um, and so right now I'm I'm happy where I'm at I'm happy with the lifestyle that I'm afforded and uh, it's not too bad so if you are interested in being a trauma PA on a 24-hour shift um, and just kind of you know doing your thing I think uh, you should absolutely look into hospitals that would fit that mold but otherwise you can do 10s or 12s or whatever the case may be but hopefully that answered your question Cedric if you guys have any other questions for me please leave them in the comment section below please 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 you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at get that C University be sure to check me out on Tuesday because I will be talking about Yale's online PA program and our new like series that I've been doing where we are researching the schools together live it will be 10 o'clock a.m eastern standard time on tuesday so be sure to check me out then thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time 